Hello and welcome to Israel I Am Studio. One of the burning issues in Israel today is women of the wall. Every month this group of women comes to the Western Wall in Jerusalem, the holiest site for Judaism. There they pray in a way that traditionally was just for men. They sing out loud and provoke the rage of the ultra-Orthodox community. Our panel of Israel AOM editors is here to discuss the issue, Simona Vangla, Steve Ganot, and Eliezer Sherman. Let me ask you, what are the women of the wall trying to achieve? Well, what they're trying to achieve, I think it's pretty clear, they're going to the wall to pray. These are traditional women. Some of them are Orthodox, some of them are Reform, conservative. Uh, some are even non-religious, and they're going to the, to the wall, to the Western Wall, which is what Jews do to pray. This is a, it's a natural thing for Jews to do, and this is how they do it, according to their tradition. I think um, we have to separate what they're actually doing, which is praying, and what they're trying to achieve, which is publicity. The women in the wall are clearly trying to achieve publicity, um, and the way they do that is by provoking ultra-Orthodox Jews to start riots, to throw diapers at them, to throw chairs at them. So, and the, so they're causing the violence against them? You're saying well, they're, they're responsible for people r r being violent against them? It doesn't make any sense to me. Well, in a sense they are because they were told by the High Court of Justice that they could pray um, the way they want to at the Western Wall, at a part of the Western Wall that's called Robinson's Arch, and yet every single month they come and they pray at the Western Wall in the plaza. I think the problem is that they're try what you're saying is that they're trying to achieve provocation and publicity, which just are not the goals of that organization. It's not what they're trying to do. They're trying to change the status quo. They're trying to raise awareness. Whether the way they're doing it is the appropriate way to get that done is another topic completely. That's not what they're trying to yeah, achieve. If, if they were trying to achieve uh, publicity, they did that 25 years ago when they started the organization and they got a huge uh, violent response. So I don't. I, after 25 years of going every month, I don't think you can say that they're just trying to get publicity. I. Just, I mean, if you just look at their tactics and you look at things that people have said and not Hoffman has said, um, we're there to see and be seen. Other members of Women of the Wall They're there said, to be seen and be seen because it's about raising awareness. It's not about achieving publicity. Okay. That you're trying to make their cause <laughs> seem shallow, which just seems like an unfortunate way to, to pit their struggle. Prime Minister Netanyahu appointed Nathan Sharansky to come up with a compromise. What do you think of his solution? I agree with some of his solutions. I don't agree with some of the solutions. I don't like the idea of encouraging further separation between groups of people. I don't like the idea of trying to keep Haredim away from people of other traditions. The idea is to create a pluralistic space, a nationalistic space, a space of Jewish sovereignty, and not to bring groups and separate them. Soon we're going to run out of wall. We're not going to have anywhere to put these people. You know, Ellie, I, I uh, understand what you're saying, but they're actually going to expand the uh, area of, uh, of prayer at the wall. Right now, there are two sections, a men's section and a women's section, and they're going to make a third section which doesn't exist today. It's not going to take away from the other two. Um, I think ideally, you're right, people should be praying together and not making separate sections, but you know what? There have been some changes over the last couple hundred years in the Jewish people. I've, I've, yeah. I have no problem with the Robinson's Arch area. My issue is the idea about setting a status quo where the only way for people to cooperate with each other at a site that represents all of Israel and not yeah. just certain segments of the population is to increase separation. I you don't know, think, I that think that works. Ironically, ironically, the rabbi of the Kotel, Shmuel Rabinovich, is on record saying that he can live with that solution, and the women of the wall are the ones who say they don't necessarily agree with the solution and they're not sure. Absolutely, they because some of the women want to be able to go to the women's section at the wall and right. pray freely because they'll they don't be want to pray to. with men. No, the women, so the no, idea of, of, of appeasing... They'll be able to continue to go to the women's section. That's, that's still going to be available to them. But there'll be this new section they want to call the Israeli section. I think it's important also for the viewers to understand... But don't you see inherently what the problem with the Israeli section would be then? Is no, that I the don't. idea is that the rest is not Israeli? Well, there have been some some changes. There's a whole okay. movement of an, of Israeli religion, uh, which is it's not Orthodox, it's not Reform, it's maybe post-denominational. I think that's what this Israeli section is going to represent. To wrap things up in one sentence, please tell me your opinion. Um, I think that people talk a lot about religious freedom for the women of the wall, but you have to respect religious freedom for the Haredim also, who can't pray when the women of the wall are there. So give them earplugs when they get to the wall. <laughs> <laughs> now, I think that, uh, I, first of all, I support the group. And, uh, and I think that what they're doing is uh, it's legitimate. Yes, they're trying to make some changes, but there, are, there have been changes in the Jewish people. They represent the future. And I think we have to respect their, uh, their traditions. I don't think they represent the future. I think they represent the present. 
I, I think it's a mistake to say that they represent the future. The idea well, we'll is what they want to do is say that the civil rights in Israel are being questioned right now. What we are doing coming to the wall is praying the way we want to pray right now. Simona Wanglas, Steve Gannot, and Eliezer Sherman, thank you for joining us.